WIFF News 4. More coverage, the best coverage of live local breaking news. WIFF Greenville. And now, with the morning edition, Rebecca Cook. This is News Center 4. Good morning and thanks for joining us. 32 degrees in Greenville, Spartanburg, as well as in Anderson. Asheville has a warm 43 this morning. WYFF Greenville. And now with the noon edition, Ken Sparks, Carol Goldsmith, and Judy Booker with weather. This is News Center 4. Good afternoon and thanks for joining us. I'm Rebecca Williams for Carol Goldsmith. Locally, we have 72 degrees. And our skies are sunny. WYFF Greenville. With the 6 o'clock edition, Carl Clark, Annette Estes, meteorologist Charlie Gertz, and Chris Allen. This is New Center 4. WYFF Greenville. And now with the late breaking edition, Carl Clark, Annette Estes, weather with Charlie Gertz, and Stan Olenek with sports. This is New Center 4 update. Hello again, everyone. A stretch of the Atlantic coast from St. Augustine, Florida to Cape Hatteras, North Carolina is under a hurricane watch tonight. WYFF-TV, Greenville. This is News 4 Noon. Good afternoon. Locally, we have 73 degrees. Under partly sunny skies. From WYFF-TV, Michael Cogdo. Paul Johnson with sports, and Judy Booker with the weather. This is News 4 Tonight. And hello again, everybody. Fire leads the news tonight, first in the upstate, where flames put some business owners out of business for a while today. We're your friend for WYFF. Now, live from Carolina's News Channel, this is News 4 at noon. A Spartanburg Junior High School tightens security after police blow up a suspected bomb. Hello, and thanks for being with us today. You're watching News 4 at noon on Carolina's News Channel, WYFF, bringing you more news more often. We are your friend for WYFF. Now, live from Carolina's News Channel, this is News 4 Tonight. I was hoping that if I came today, I could find a reason. <laughs> the mourners gather and search for answers as little Michael and Alex Smith are laid to rest. Hello again, everybody. I'm Michael Cogdill. Union County and the rest of the country pause today to remember the Smith children. A chemical fire at a Greenville plant forces about 100 people to evacuate. The latest on that situation up next. And a Campobello family loses their life's possessions after their home catches fire. Good Sunday evening, everyone. I'm Larry Blunt. Thank you so much for being with us. You're watching Carolina's News Channel with Larry Blunt, Judy Booker with weather, and sports with Tyler Duder. From the heart of the upstate, this is News 4 Tonight. You're watching WYFF 4. Now, from Carolina's News Channel, this is News 4, live at 5. An upstate communications company delivers some good news to people who need a job. It's the first of its kind in the upstate. Two men on two wheels could change the way you do business. And some special students are getting down to business at a school like none other. Good evening, everyone. I'm Carol Goldsmith. And I'm Chris Safadi. And for Michael Cogdell tonight... To You're watching Carolina's News Channel with Carol Goldsmith, Michael Cogdell, and Chief Meteorologist John Ceserich. From the heart of the upstate, this is News 4, live at 5. You're watching WYFF 4. Now, live from Carolina's News Channel, this is News 4 at 5.30. Your computer may be ready, but what about Wall Street tonight, preparing for the Y2K bug? Teachers in Detroit are ready to vote on a brand new contract so classes there can resume. And doctors studying soccer reach some surprising conclusions. Good evening, everyone. I'm Stephanie Trotter, in for Stephanie Fisher. And I'm Tim Waller. Thanks for joining us tonight. You're watching Carolina's News Channel with Stephanie Fisher, Tim Waller, Chief Meteorologist John Ceserich and sports with Jeff Hart. From the heart of the upstate, this is News 4 at 5.30. You're watching
watching WYFF4. Now, live from Carolina's News Channel, this is News 4 at 6. You'd expect something like this down, way down uh, near the city, nothing like that here. The smell is overpowering and the cleanup enormous. Tonight, scientists trying to get to the bottom of a problem that's surfacing here in the upstate. Good evening. You're watching WYFF, Greenville, Spartanburg, Asheville, Anderson. Now, live, local, breaking news from the home of Sky 4. This is WYFF News 4. Flight attendants say it's a dangerous problem that's happening more and more often. Stopping air raids is the top story at 530 at WYFF News 4. Good evening, I'm Tim Waller. And I'm Sharon Johnson. Thanks for being here with us. You're watching WYFF News 4 at 5.30. Live, local, breaking news with Tim Waller, Sharon Johnson, Chief Meteorologist John Sasserich, and sports with Jeff Hart. This is WYFF News 4. You're watching WYFF News 4 at 6. Live, local, breaking news with Harold Goldsmith, Michael Cogdill, Chief Meteorologist John Setzerich, and Sports with Jeff Hart. This is WYFF News 4. You're watching Emmy Award winning WYFF News 4, the upstate's most honored news station, setting the standard for television excellence. You're watching WYFF, Greenville, Spartanburg, Asheville, Anderson. Now, live, local, breaking news from the home of Sky 4. This is WYFF News 4. Some very personal information about 1,800 high school students hit the Internet tonight, trying to protect those Anderson County teenagers from identity theft and the damage a few numbers can do. Good evening, everyone. You're watching WYFF News 4 with Carol Goldsmith, Michael Cogdill, Chief Meteorologist John Sesserich, and Sports with Jeff Hart. This is WYFF News 4, live, local, breaking news. Keep your eyes on one club. What's it doing? You're watching award-winning WYFF News 4 with Tim Waller, Sharon Johnson, and Chief Meteorologist John Sesserich. This is WYFF News 4, live, local, breaking news. There's now, WYFF News 4, live, local, breaking news at 6. But I believe that this animal right here don't deserve to be out in our society walking alongside of our women. An upstate man accused of attacking and trying to sexually assault a woman in a park. Tonight, a sheriff urges all women to arm themselves and not just with mace. Good evening, I'm Michael Cogdell. And I'm Carol Goldsmith. First tonight... Live, local, breaking news. This is WYFF News 4 at 5 in high definition. Good evening, I'm Jeff Hart, in for Nigel this evening. And I'm Gabrielle Kamarowski, and we begin tonight with the arrest of a teen mom in Cherokee County. Live, local, breaking news. This is WYFF News 486 in high definition. Good evening, I'm Gabrielle Kamarowski, sitting in for Carol tonight. And I'm Jeff Hart, in for Michael this evening. Live, local, breaking news. This is WYFF News 4 at 6 in high definition. Absolutely worse than Katrina, yes. Today marks the third day of Isaac's landfall, and this thing is still in Louisiana. It has been downgraded to a tropical depression. Chief Meteorologist John Sesrich closely watching the path. Live local breaking news. This is WYFF News 4 today in high definition. It is game day. Clemson takes on Alabama tonight for the national championship. I'm Jeff Hart, live in Glendale, Arizona. Live, local, breaking news. This is WYFF News 4 at 6 in high definition. Take a look here. That is a live picture from Sky 4, uh, almost over Death Valley. It's been a busy day for Sky 4. They're getting right back there into position. It is game day, and with that uh, comes some excitement and some traffic. And uh, for the fans in that stadium, some cold as well. Live local breaking news. This is WYFF News 4 at 6 in high definition. 
14 and 0, and tonight they want one more. That's all it takes. Clemson Tigers, Alabama Crimson tied for it all. We're just a couple of hours away from the kickoff of the college football playoff championship. And WI 54 Sports Director Brad Fralick is in the middle of it all. Live local breaking news. This is WIFF News 4 Today. Fans waited 35 years for this, but the wait is over this morning. The Clemson Tigers are national champions. What fans had to say moments after the win. Live local breaking news. This is WIFF News 4 at 11. We begin out of Florida tonight. That's a live look at Raymond James Stadium where there's a barn burner going on. First rematch in college football history underway. Clemson or Alabama to be crowned tonight. We'll cover it live from Tampa to the Carolinas. It's deja vu all over again. Live, local, breaking news. This is WIFF News 4 Today. I mean, I, you know, we're just a little old Clemson. I mean, we're not supposed to be here. We're not supposed to be the first 15 and 0 team in history. We're not supposed to be here, but we are. Making history, Clemson becomes the first 15 and 0 champs in more than a century. And the Tigers dominate the Greeny right after time expired. Hear what he had to say just before getting that trophy. Live, local, breaking news. This is WIFF News 4 at noon. Seven Spartanburg County students taken to the hospital this morning after the bus they were riding on was hit by a van. And it's mega deal time today to avoid a government shutdown tonight. First, though, breaking news out of Spartanburg County this afternoon. We're Live, local, breaking news. This is WIFF News 4 at 4. Here are your top four stories at four national championship winners. The Tigers crushed Alabama last night. What the players have to say about the big win. Now on WIFF News 4 at 5. I think they're both going to come out and come out swinging because Alabama's like, we're not going to give this away. Fans making their predictions with the upstate stores counting on a Clemson win to make the winning color green. We went down to New Orleans last year and watched that, and that was the most miserable Clemson game I'd ever been to, and this is going to be the best one. A big crowd of fans expected in downtown Clemson. A live report from where the watch party will happen. It's uh, frustrating because when you hit the potholes, you could uh, throw your car out of alignment. Um, you could possibly damage your rim. Oh, yes, so many potholes now. Why do we have so many now? And what's being done to get this fixed? Beautiful weather outside across our area right now, but this very weak cold front is producing a narrow band of some rain showers moving quickly in our direction. But this is the front we have to watch out for because that's going to bring us much colder weather down the road. I'll talk about it next. Okay, synchronize the watches, the cell phones. We are just hours away from kickoff. Live, local, breaking news. This is WIFF News 4 at 6. California outside Levi Stadium, the site of tonight's national championship game between Clemson and Alabama. We've got you covered all the way up until kickoff in just a moment. Live, local, breaking news. This is WIFF News 4 at 11. Very weak cold front approaching from the west, producing a few isolated showers around the area, but it's the second front that we have to watch because that's going to bring us much colder weather down the road. So far from the 50-yard line, but their heart is with the Tigers out in California. That's downtown Clemson right now. National championship coverage from California to the upstate. I can relate, and I'm sure that the people that are on the receiving end will uh, make adjustments. The president on the country adjusting to the government shutdown. He'll have more to say to the country tomorrow night. We begin with some breaking news out of Greenville County right now. Tonight a toddler is in the hospital after accidentally shooting himself. 